What can I do for you, sir? Mrs. Sanders, I'm a private detective. We must talk about your husband and his ties to Sarah Hawkins. Can I come in? You may. However, before we go any further, please know that my husband died yesterday. That is precisely what brings me here. Well, well. Look who's here. You know each other. We met briefly. Time enough to iron out a few matters. The main thing is that we understood one another. The brave detective has a talent for sticking his nose into my business. I bump into her every time I'm investigating someone's death. It's a small island, detective. My island. It's better that it's you bumping into me. You're investigating Francis' death? Why? Who hired you? I spoke to Francis before he died. His story suggests a link to a case I'm working on. Well, since this business has got nothing to do with me, I'll be in your husband's office, Irene. We'll carry on later. Very well, Miss Baker. This way, Mr. Pierce. And do make yourself comfortable. It would seem that you have much to tell me. May I inquire as to when you had the opportunity to talk to my husband? Yesterday. I met him at the hospital. He spoke to me about Sarah Hawkins. Oh, of course he spoke to you about her. That's all he talked about. Sarah Hawkins and her paintings. Please forgive my tone. The fact is that I have not been allowed to see him since he was interned. You, on the other hand, a perfect stranger, were able to see him and even talk with him the day he died. How was he? Were you present when he had this attack? What happened? He started raving, screaming that a dimensional shambler had found him. Mercy, that story again. Why have him interned? That was when he began to convulse and twist with pain. Or terror, it's hard to tell. Uh, I beg your pardon? I'm not really sure of what I saw, or what I didn't see. But it's best that you weren't there. I should have been there. What you're telling me is outrageous. I need to understand. How could this happen? In a reputed institute? And, and right before your eyes? Did you not do anything to help him? With all due respect, Mrs. Sanders, it was you who sent him to this asylum, not me. How dare you? What was I supposed to do, Detective? Upon seeing such a, a brilliant mind disintegrate in this way, waking with a start every night with him shrieking in horror, petrified before this accursed painting, unable to look away, until he managed to gouge his eyes out with his own hands. I should have listened to Dr. Fuller, let him intern him months ago. If I am to be condemned, it is because I did not act sooner. I'm not here to condemn you, Mrs. Sanders. Oh, I'm tired, Mr. Pierce. I would be grateful if you could tell me what you expect of me, and then leave. I deduce that your husband already mentioned this dimensional shambler. <laughs> well, you can't imagine that's all he talked about. It's exhibited at the center of the gallery. No better place for the painting that endowed him with the privilege of such a shameful and miserable end to his life. Hold on. The Shambler is a painting by Sarah Hawkins. Who else to paint such horrors? Take a look for yourself, if you feel so inclined. It is my only lead at this stage. I suppose I have nothing to lose. Then you have paid no heed. For my part, I refuse to set foot in that gallery again. But if you are so eager to see it, 
Thank you, Mrs. Sanders. I won't be long. The day the Shambler came into the Sanders' lives. Francis Sanders and Sarah Hawkins were close. Friends, even? Sanders' accession register. He wrote beside the Shambler. Finally. What did Sarah Hawkins fear so much that she didn't want to sell a painting? A house of artists. A house of artists. He finally won. Was Sanders aware of his imminent doom? She first refused to sell the painting. How did that make her feel? Was she jealous of Sarah Hawkins? Ah! The Shambler. I need to see it. Did she really care for him, after all? Let's see what this cylinder has to say once it's inserted in a phonograph. Irene, I made a mistake. I fear that it might be too late for me. Nobody should enter, except to burn everything. I never had the courage. Pay somebody to do it. He's inside my head. I see him behind my eyelids each time I shut my eyes. I can't take any more. 
I can't hold him back. Forgive me. Francis, I should never let them take you away. What have I done? Everything is my fault. Strange Amerindian pendant. I could use one of those. Strange. For months, Sarah Hawkins refused to part with her painting, to finally give it away for nothing. Another volume of the Reverend's wife's diary. That's twice you've stepped on my toes, Detective. Try not to make a habit of it. I've got a lot of bad habits. What have you come looking for in this gallery? It's got nothing to do with you, Baker. At least I hope not. Bravado. And a threat. In the same sentence. I appreciate the effort, Detective. But watch your tongue. And you? What brings you to the Sanders home? What I know does not concern you, Detective. Must I ask good officer Bradley? I had the impression that the chemistry wasn't that great between the two of you. Is that all you've got, Detective? I was invited here by Irene herself. It's got nothing to do with the police. As for your Bradley, it's me who gave him his scar. And try that kind of approach on me again, and I promise you... Your face will be far more repulsive than his. All's fair in love and war, I suppose. These artifacts date from pre-Columbian times. Hmm. The man transforms an entire wing of his manor into an art gallery. public entrance to the gallery. Hmm. Why was he so interested in old weapons?
What the hell was that? What the hell was that? Damn. Maybe I can use this thing. What the hell was that? What the hell was that? Damn. Maybe I can use this dagger. What the hell was that? Damn, maybe I can use this dagger.
What the hell was that? Maybe I can use this thing. What the hell was that? Damn. Did it hear that? Maybe. Damn, did it hear that? What the hell was that?
maybe I can use this dagger. What the hell was that? Damn. This dagger looks different. Don't tell me that you're going crazy, too. You didn't see anything. I saw you within an inch of putting a dagger through your forearm. Did I miss something more interesting? Sanders was right. This painting is cursed. What are you talking about? I was attacked by a creature. Pushed it back, I think. I... I think so, too. You knew! You knew about the beast. What are you talking about? Think yourself lucky that I saved your hand, even if it was to save my goods. You mean me? Don't flatter yourself, sweetheart. I'm talking about the contents of this gallery. And by the way, where do you think you're going with that dagger? It saved my life. It's an extraordinary dagger. You should talk to Algernon Drake. He's an antique dealer here on Darkwater. He'll tell you all about it. From what I saw in the ledgers, it was him who sold it to Sanders. It's not your style to give me free information like that. Take it as payment for being my canary. A simple trade-off. Now go see your antique seller. I've still got things to settle with Irene.
Where is the bookseller? Freud's The Interpretation of Dreams. It's the work that laid the foundations of psychoanalysis at the beginning of this century. Another volume of the Reverend's Wife's Diary. The Book of Zion is the foundational work behind Helena Blavatsky's Theosophical Movement. Its followers place truth on the same footing as a religion. What happened here? Let's start over. Where did they break in from? Blood. Seems like amateur work. footprint belong. This burglar seems to be rather clumsy. killed all these animals. 
What sort of thief leaves his tools at the crime scene? What happened that made the burglar flee before finishing his work? What the... Charles Hawkins? Looks like the symbol rejected Hawkins. What sort of power did Sarah Hawkins' painting possess? Sarah Hawkins helped hide something in the safe. Drake put in a great deal of effort to hide whatever is in here. Everything is linked to the Sarah Hawkins case. Drake left instructions on how to find the combination of his safe. Is everyone on this island taking sleeping pills? What link did he find between Charles Hawkins and an old amulet? Arkham editions? Never heard of them. How many volumes are there in this collection? Another volume by Arkham editions. Arkham editions? Never heard of them. How many volumes are there in this collection? Another volume by Arkham editions. Arkham editions? Never heard of them. How many volumes are there in this collection? Cylinders that Drake tried to hide. I should perhaps listen to them.
kind of chalice. Things are not looking good. And these red drops, like precious stones, lie fixed, set in divine gold. To be the guardian of the grail does not protect me from its attractions, Henry. And I do confess it. I am willing to pay to know its secrets. I finally understood that we were only pieces on the chessboard of the gods. Let those of us who are still standing protect our White Queen from their dark soldiers. I see our number dwindling, and my will strengthens as my apprehension grows. We shall refuse to be the playthings of destiny. Dear friend, I thank you again for the anthology of the works of Arkham editions that you sent me. Uh, volume 9, Azathoth and Other Horrors. The Chalice of Knowledge. Seemed particularly relevant to my research. I never tire of browsing through them. strange amulet. I have a feeling I'd better not touch it. These red drops, like precious stones, lie fixed, set in divine gold. To be the guardian of the grail does not protect me from its attractions. The Chalice of Knowledge. Attractions, Henry. And I do confess it. I am willing to pay to know its secrets. 
I finally understood that we were only pieces on the chessboard of the gods. Let those of us who are still standing protect our White Queen from their dark soldiers. I see our number dwindling, and my will strengthens as my apprehension grows. We shall refuse to be the playthings of destiny.
This man's condition is deteriorating. What says Dr. Fuller? It's his patient, after all. He... he's busy with Captain Fitzroy. He specifically asked us not to bother him when that's the case. Oh, of course. I'll see what I can do. Mr. Blake, can you hear me? I'm Dr. Colden. We'll take care of you. There's nothing we can do. I tried talking to him. He's catatonic.